TN boy sends WH $3 to pay Trump's salary, nine months later gets special gift in return. Back in January, a Tennessee boy sent his entire savings to the White House to pay President Donald Trump's salary. It wasn't much, but he hoped his $3 would help the president. Nine months later, the generous boy received a special gift in return, and he will undoubtedly never forget it. When nine-year-old Elisha Davis learned that President Donald Trump would not be accepting the $400,000 yearly salary paid to the commander-in-chief, the young boy couldn't believe the president's generosity. He also had lots of questions. Would Trump have to starve? How could he possibly afford to feed himself? How would he pay his bills? Wouldn't his water be turned off? I thought how is he going to eat or drink, Eli recalled. Or, you know, pay, if he needs to pay his water bill or anything. Fearing that Trump would ultimately suffer for donating the entirety of his presidential salary to charity, Eli decided to pitch in whatever he could to help. He didn't have much, but he had saved up $3. He decided to send his three $1 bills to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., in hopes that it might help President Trump get by in a pinch. A nine-year-old boy from East Tennessee wrote to President Trump in January to send him $3. Now he has a letter from the president. Ella Shaw Davis from Crossville wrote to the president after hearing his parents talk about Trump's campaign promise to only accept a salary of $1. He wanted to make sure the president had enough to pay the bills at the White House. Source, Burr. Eli didn't understand that Donald Trump is a billionaire, the $400,000 presidential salary would have been no more than a drop in the bucket to him. However, the young boy's mother did not want to stifle his giving spirit so she helped him send off the three dollars, plus a note, to the president. My first impression was like, you are going to give your money away again, because he's been trying to save it up for a mandolin, but at the same time, I was like, I don't want to discourage his generosity, and I think it's sweet, explained DLI's mother, Melissa Davis. Eli had learned about writing letters in school, and his parents told him it was a gamble to send one to the White House, he might hear back, he might not. Luckily, though, we now have a commander-in-chief who is steadfastly committed to the American people he serves and who makes time in his busy schedule to address even his youngest supporters. Last Monday, approximately nine months after Eli sent Trump his $3, the nine-year-old checked his mailbox and found the most awesome surprise inside, a personal letter from the president, a picture of Trump and Vice President Mike Pence and the three dollars he had sent off months prior. He sent it back so I guess he didn't need it after all, said Eli. In his return letter, Trump thanked Eli for his heartfelt gesture but urged the boy to invest his money in his community instead, as the president would be just fine financially. Trump also told Eli to think big and dream even bigger. Eli was elated to receive a personal letter from the president, but his good fortune didn't end there. After hearing his story, a kind stranger decided to reward his generosity as well and sent him that mandolin he had been saving up for. I just want to be a blessing to others, said Eli. He certainly has been, as his story has touched the hearts of many. Please share this sweet nine-year-old story if you were touched by it, as well. I just want to be a blessing to others, said Eli. He certainly has been, as his story has touched the hearts of many. Please share this sweet nine-year-old story if you were touched by it, as well, as well.